Ah, oh, that tastes good. Nice soda. And apparently this giant alligator ship ate some other ships. So yeah, this is the entrance here. The sand right around here. Kind of portrays where it was. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, I do want to look around for a moment. Because I believe, at least on one of these sides... I guess somewhere, whether it being in the crates... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run off the side? No, one of them ran off the side. I would like to grab a few Lanairo ants. I, I'm surprised I actually remember these are over here. And yes, before I get any accusations, I am actually remembering a lot of this stuff without a guide. I always want to be careful with the Lanairo ants because you can kill them and that kind of sucks. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wow, we got a good number of them here. Anything? Nope. Nope. Well, okay. Anyway, that, that's it for bug hunting for a moment. Now guys, uh, one thing you'll want to check out is if you get your claw shots. Let's recenter that. Uh, if you get your claw shots, okay, yeah, I was, I was actually right about this. You go, you look back here. Grab one of that. And guys, there is so much you can do now in the game that you couldn't get, like places you couldn't get to before. They can now just because of the claw shots. I mean, those things are one of the coolest upgrades in any game. I mean, I always, I mean, how can you not like the claw shots or at least the hook shot? I mean, that thing is a classic. Anyway, and that just, that was probably the first one that wasn't directly open to the sky right above it. Anyway, we could jump down from here and... You know what? We have no reason to go back down that way. I think we will. Ah, I hit B like a second too late. Oh well. Coolness factor substitutes for the pain. I need to run across here. For now, we would like to actually go talk to the skipper. We're not quite done here for the moment, but... Beta Vui. That was absolutely amazing. The big mouth open, Vert. How'd you do that, Verm? There's something at the bridge inside the mouth. We could be a clue to my ship, sir. I'm just gonna have to take a look. Or do you want to head back out to sea, Verm? Nope. I see. We. So yeah, guys, go talk to him. And yes, you actually have to talk to him before this activate. Talk to him. Head up to the top. I believe there's a stamina. F oh no, no. Well, that was bad. Just, that was just bad. No other excuse besides that. That, that was just bad. Speaking of which, I know I don't have this. Do I? Yeah, I have an empty one. I have that. Hmm. Yeah, guys, honestly, this thing right here, the Heart Potion Plus Plus, this thing, honestly, I can't think of a time where I'd really need it. Uh. Well, there's one possible time besides the fi like the final moments of the game, and that's probably the only time I can think of that I would definitely need it. But anyway, head across. With, excuse me, jeez, big burp for once. Head back across here, and we got five. I have information to report, Master. Please take a look. Yes. There's a 60% probability that these masts and these sails are from the ship that protects Nairu's flame. You can now set your dusting ability to search for the ship that holds Nairu slain. And yeah guys, now we have the ability to douse for the ship itself. And... Apparently the ship is nowhere around here. The ship is somewhere out there for some reason. Now... Let's go talk to the skipper to see what the heck that's going to be about. And holy crap, I just realized I've been recording for 27 minutes now. Uh, okay, guys, um, I guess I'm going to... I don't want to upload a really long episode, so I guess I'm going to just continue this and find a place to split it off. So my ship wasn't here either from... If we... You find a clue? You know the place? Some kind of thing called dousing room. That's amazing, Fui. This time we'll definitely find my, sh find my ship, Fui. Ready to set sail? To sea! The Sansi. 
Anchors away, vroom. And yes, the skipper just received a very deep and possibly very weird voice. Why I am doing this, I don't know. How are we going to search this whole huge sea, vroom? I have no choice but to ask you to do it for me. So get cracking. We... I've been doing it for you this whole time. There's a high probability the ship is currently hidden from our view. For we... What are you, fi now? But if we attack it, then we might catch a glimpse of it. So you want us to attack your own ship. Okay, you're the boss. Um... Oh yeah, guys, before I forget... NCS has just started... Bringing... LP number, God knows what it is now, 50, 60 something, I don't know. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Guys, I'll say, whoa, what the hell's with all these guys? I'll say now, guys, that one is probably my favorite of the Prime series, and I love the Prime series, as you guys heard me saying many, many times uh, during my LP of Metroid Prime. And god, I really want to LP that game so much. Although I did the first one not too long ago. Well, I can't really say not too long ago now, but... I mean, it was only a few LPs ago, and I really want to do it. And I will get to that LP someday, guys. I promise you that. I can't tell you when. Sorry about that. Spleen. Where is that thing? Okay, it's right over this way. But, uh, I haven't gotten a chance to watch any of the episodes from it yet. And I really want to start watching. Uh, I, can't, I can't even express how much I want to start watching that LP, guys. It is ridiculous. Anyway, as you can see, we're heading close. Now, you can keep the dousing on and actually still control the boat while you do this. So that does help. Oh, Jesus Christ! Did you see it, Fuip? That's my ship. Verm? No, I didn't just see that giant ghost ship reminiscent thing like two inches from my face. We must pursue and keep pounding it with the cannon. Aren't you a f <laughs> Look at that. I even cra it even confirmed that I crashed into it. Where the okay, I was like, where the hell did he go? Hey guys, keep doing this. Keep aiming. Oh. Did I do it enough times? Okay, nice. I think I actually got it. Yeah, the first time I did this, it actually took a little longer because after the first hit, you guys noticed how after after you hit the boat, uh, it would flash for a second. Well, it has a tendency to what seems to be teleporting very slightly. Anyway, guys. As that music should tell you right there. We have entered the sand ship. And this, guys, is the next dungeon. And a much different start to a dungeon than usual. Rather than going through some entryway, we have entered this place through a ladder. Now, heading back down this ladder... Well, I guess I'll just show you. <laughs> Heading back down this ladder takes you back to Skipper's ship so you can head out for whatever reason you need. And now we have the ship kind of just ported over here in this giant circle of rocks. And as any dungeon, it is now stationary so we can come back to it anytime we need. And guys, so... Yeah, we have now entered the sand ship. As you can see, there are bones around, so obviously time is going to play another part in this dungeon. Now, guys, you know how I re you remember how I said that uh, the ancient cistern, the ancient toilet, uh, was possibly going to take me a while, but then that was just because I act I legitimately forgot how long the actual dungeon itself was, and ended up getting it done a lot quicker than I thought I would at first. Guys, this I can almost guarantee you, this dungeon is going to take me at least three or four episodes to complete this is one confusing mother of a dungeon it's no water temple don't don't get me wrong there this this is easy as pie compared to the water temple i say water dungeon this is easy as pie compared to the water temple of ocarina of time 
But still, this place has its moments. Hey. God, this is that, that music that happens when you enter that. Dun, 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 dun. It just makes it seem like, like oh shit, something's there. <laughs> it just gives me that feeling. I played too many games where it has that sound, and all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, you know that monster you've been trying to escape from? Hey, look, it's right over there. But anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> God, this has been going for 33 minutes. I'll find some place to split this. Um, I'm probably gonna split this to the point where this episode is going to be the shorter of the two. So guys, in the next episode, we continue on into the sand ship. And hopefully I don't just massacre everything. An explanation for those of you who may have just heard Navi in the background. Who may have just heard Navi say, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Uh, yeah, that was my cell phone. I finally actually got a cell phone, even though it's just my sister since she got a new one and I got this one now. Yeah, my ringtone for when I get texts is Navi's Hey Listen, because as I said, I've never been another of them. Hey, look, it's a text from Kitsune Akane. <laughs> uh, me in break room. Okay, I guess she's on break from work, because yeah, like I said before, she actually works late with me. Uh, hey, Kitsune Akane, without even trying, you have just made another cameo. In a beta nights video, and I literally just threw my cell phone. Come here. Okay, uh, <laughs> I guess this couldn't have come in a better time with me ending off the video here, so without further ado, guys, this has been Beta Nights for Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, bringing you back a hopefully reminiscent version of a Metroid Prime ending in which it takes me like five minutes just to end off a video. So yeah, I guess, I hope you guys enjoyed the nostalgia. So I'll be catching you guys next time. Like usual, guys. Have a good night, y'all. And bye bye Ciao for now.